All right, all right, all right. What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Um, so, you know, I thought I'd make a little video here real quick. Honestly, it is, uh, has really nothing to do about, it's, it's nothing that I really care about. Uh, well, I may offend some people, but uh, I figured that, um, you know, I was just looking through, like, YouTube this morning, and I guess there was a lot of, uh, you know, people about the, I don't know, Ferguson indictment or some something or another i don't i don't know but um so i was looking i was like well, what's everybody so upset about and everything and so apparently like some kid got shot in the middle of the street you know whatever i i you know what i feel sorry for the parents um you know and that's about that you know i'm not you know trying to pick sides i mean i don't really even know what happened i mean i was busy worrying about myself to be worried about what's going on in other places i mean i'm sure that maybe some of this stuff might affect me in 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 the future but unfortunately i have to worry about my taxes i have to worry about thanksgiving i have to worry about getting gifts for my kids for christmas i have to worry about ordering stuff for myself i have to worry about bettering myself so you know i don't really care what goes on with the ferguson incident i don't care about the other ferguson incident i don't really even care about all the other silly ass shit that's going on that's violent related and black on black crime and hate against the police and all this extra nonsense i mean yeah I, it might be the police may be using their um abilities to um you know to, to 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 in a not good way like they may be bullying people and you know what <clears throat> that sucks for them <laughs> i mean i'm not trying to be like one of those guys that just doesn't really care about anything else other than myself that's not it at all i mean hey if you want to ask questions and want to chat and want some inf advice or whatever i'm totally down to give some advice but me personally being mad over something that happened that I like, I ain't even know the guy. I didn't, I've never even been to Missouri. Like, I don't know anyone up there. So for the stuff that's going on down there, that's just like for them to get mad because a customer canceled me. Like nobody up in Missouri got mad because a customer decided that they didn't want my service anymore. Nobody got upset because a customer didn't pay me the money that they owed me from the work that I've done. So seeing how they don't care about the things that are happening in my life, I really don't care about the things that are happening in their life. So what all I wanted to pretty much say is, is I don't understand why the man that got shot and killed, uh, apparently they had a video of him strong arming the gas station right before he got shot. Again, I'm not doing any investigation in it. If he did, that's so be it. But if the man needed some cigars or whatever he was stealing, why somebody didn't just give them to him? Think about that for a second. How many people are out stealing stuff right now? because they're mad at a verdict but yet not one person stole something to get this man whatever he wanted i mean i'm just saying you know i'm just saying like if the kid if he was a kid and he was hungry and he went to the store and he was trying to eat and he stole some food and then he got shot and then everybody's complaining because he got shot well if nobody fed him then he's going to do whatever he has to do to survive. And I'm not saying what the kid did was right or the boy or the man. I don't know. The kid, the guy looked like he's bigger than me. I mean, the guy looked like he was like six, seven or something, 340. I mean, he looked swole. So, you know, he walked up to me on some silliness. But anyway, uh, and, and I, like I said, though, honestly, I just don't understand how come there's so many people that came together to loot and to do all this silliness, but yet come January 1st, come together, give kids shirts and jackets and, and, and gloves. I mean, you know, just saying, you know, just saying. A lot of these same people are going to want, you know, I don't even want to talk about this shit anymore because I don't really care, you know, because none of these people are going to watch my videos anyway. They probably, you know what, I don't even want to stereotype. I know they're not going to watch my videos. They don't have any lawns. <laughs> Why would they care about lawn service? 
It's just like me watching gay porn. Nothing against gays. I am totally not homophobic, but I just don't like gay porn. It's just not my thing. I don't like transsexual porn. That's not my thing either. Just saying. I don't like that kind of stuff, so I don't watch it. And I'm sure that they're probably not going to like this, so that's why they're not going to watch it, and that's totally fine. I will still continue to make videos, and I will still continue to do the things that I want to do because it's my life. Um, and uh, let's see here. I guess that's about all I was really going to say anyways, you know. Um, oh, I guess so we'll get into this. You know, um, I was talking to a friend of mine earlier, and um, apparently, you know, her, her boyfriend or something is um, is cutting lawns for a lawn service person or something. And then she asked me, she says, oh, so you working today? And I said, nope, not today. I'll be, uh, I mean, I'll be working, but I'm not going to be out in the field. I'll be doing stuff like paperwork, and I'll be emailing some people, and I'll be... Um, sending out some invoices and I'll be uh I'll be working on printing out some some working on some forms and I'll be working on my website and I'll be uh finding looking up looking up some old pictures that I posted online and I'll be saving them to my computer because I deleted a lot of pictures and I'll be just doing stuff like that you know and uh she was like oh well, you know you know uh my boyfriend you know he works and they're working you know 40 hours a week and it's like that's great that's awesome that he's working 40 hours a week and he's making, you know, probably, you know, $10 an hour or so, 400 bucks a week or so. And I saw this, man, that's great. That's awesome. I said, you know, I mean, that's great. I said, but what you don't understand is, is that while he's working 400, you know, 40 hours, maybe cutting 20 yards a day, you know, him and, a, him and another guy on the crew, you know, probably cuts 20 yards a day. I said, you know, if I had 20 yards in a, to cut a day, I said, I would surely make more than... 400 bucks, you know, I mean, or whatever, 400 bucks a week, I surely would make that, and, and basically, what it is, is that people don't understand that when you're in, when you own a, when you're a business owner, there's a lot of work that you have to do that you don't get paid to do, I mean, you know, um, I don't get, I mean, you know, there, there's just a lot of stuff that you do. You don't get paid to email. You don't get paid to research. You don't get paid to look up stuff on YouTube. You don't get paid to do your homework. You know, and if you're a successful businessman, like I said in the video I made yesterday, success is measured in to, to people differently. So, um, you know, I may not be successful to some of you guys, and that's okay. You know, that's fine. I may not consider myself as successful as some of you guys, but I feel like, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a little bit further along than somebody just with an idea. You know, I feel like that if this was just an idea, if Moe was just an idea and I was, you know, trying to get gear and I was trying to get started, then I can understand that it would, it would be a little different. But, you know, th I have, I have clients, you know, I've got contracts for, for 12 months from now until next year. I mean, you know, I've got, you know, insurance and I, I register my company. I mean, I spend so much money on stuff that doesn't even make money that it's retarded. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I mean, seriously. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys understand that too, but a lot of guys may not understand that. You know, um, having to pay for stuff. I mean, like, I bought this shirt. This shirt didn't make any money. Nobody's seen this shirt and said, oh, hey, I want you to cut my yard. Now, a lot of people say they like my name. And then a lot of people ask, oh, that's a clever name. You know, you got a card. And then they'll look into work. And then they may want to do some work after that. You know, but nobody's just going to look at your name and want service. I mean, not really that many people, no, you know, uh, business cards. I mean, they're awesome to have. They're really inexpensive and they're a good way to advertise, to, to, to give people, you know, here, here's my card, you know, call me or whatever. But I mean, they don't, they, they kind of make money. I mean, I'm sure that I've given my card to so many people and I'm sure people have said, oh, I got your card or whatever. So, I mean, they probably make money, but I mean, honestly, it's like, you know, you have to be prepared in order to be successful in, in business. You have to be prepared. You have to make a lot more than you realize that you need to make. I mean, if you need to make a salary of, you know, 500 bucks a week, well, then you need to make $1,000 a week as a business because not only do you have to pay yourself that $500 a week just to pay your bills, you know, your cable, your electric, your car payment, your your food, your your in expenses, you know, whatever your habits are, whatever it is, your, you know, whatever, you have to pay for that. Then you have to have money so that you can put into your business. You have to have gas. <clears throat> you have to be able to pay the help that works for you. You have to be able to buy supplies. 
Like, you know, I mean, how could you how could you offer mulch if you don't if you can't even go out and do the mulch, get the mulch before you do the job? I mean, how can you come to somebody's house and say, yeah, I'm gonna cut your yard, but I need to use your lawnmower. I mean, I'm, I know people that, that do that, but, you know, I mean, just saying. Um, so I don't know. I just wanted to make a video to make a video. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. I got my shirt on. You know, y'all want to see, man, he takes the videos and his shirts. Are the, nah, I don't watch this shit. <laughs> I wore this last night. I went to sleep in it. And I woke up and I'm wearing it again. I don't need to wash my shirt for what? All I'm going to do is go out and sweat in it. I'm going to smell like a man in my shirt. So, smells like a man. If somebody doesn't want to hire me because I smell like a man, then you know what? I must not be working. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I work. <laughs> you know, I'm not just somebody that's going out door to door getting job leads for my boss, I'm the boss. Even though that's something that I'm gonna work on next year, I'm gonna be like, uh, my boss uh, doesn't allow me to be flexible with payments. So I need the full amount or we will go somewhere else. Anyway, I don't have that much time to record. I should have deleted stuff. But anyway, take care guys.